Mm. Oh, well, hey there. I know what you're probably asking yourself. Why is he wearing a nightgown? Because I slept in it last night, okay? You see, my wife bought me this as a prank, and I was like, I'm a man. I don't wear no nightgown. But then I tried it on, y'all, and oh my gosh, this is the most comfortable thing I have ever worn in my life. And it's very ergonomical, too. You see, in the middle of the night, when I got to go pee-pee, I get up, I go to the bathroom, I pull up my gown, I tinkle, I shake, and I drop my gown back down. And then I go right back to sleep. It also gives your lover easy access to the goods, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, and it's real easy to do a curtsy in it, too. Curtsy. Now, enough about my nightgown. Today, we're going to go ride my brand new Yamaha YFZ 450R. Yeah, but I got to go change first. I can't ride my nightgown because the, the breeze will go up my gown and it'll freeze my giblets. So let me go change and let's go ride. dismount. Y'all check out my new Yamaha YFZ 450R. Ain't that thing awesome? Now, before I start talking about this bad mamma jamma here, I just want to tell you, if you'd like for a chance to win a Florida dream home or a million dollars, you can click on my link, home.amaze.com slash gingerbilly. Now, back to my Yamaha here. When I bought this thing here, I thought it was going to be the baddest ATV ever, and I was wrong. These things suck stock, y'all. They are horrible. I thought this thing was supposed to be a powerhouse stock. Felt like it had less power than a moped, to tell you the truth. I was upset. I was ready to take it back and get me something else. But then somebody told me, they said, get you a fuel controller and get you an exhaust. And that is exactly what I did. And let me tell you what, it turned this thing into an absolute beast. Got to push it backwards, you know, because it ain't got a reverse. You know, you pay $10,000 for doo-doos all over me and my ATV. I smell like one big cow turd right now. I'm gonna take me a little bit of a break to eat my Mitch nuts I got uh, from the airport two months ago. I looked in my bag and I said, like, ooh, I got some Mitch nuts in there from the airport when I was going to see Earl Dibbles. Glad it's in here because I ain't got nothing else to eat. My fly's been unzipped this whole time, ain't it? I felt a breeze. I figured I just had a hole in my britches, but nah, nah, I just got my fly unzipped. My dang dang's probably been hanging out this whole time I've been on video. Sorry, if y'all see a uh, grub worm wearing a turtleneck or y'all see one of my giblets, I apologize. Maybe YouTube will blur that out. All right, now before I put these nuts in my mouth, let me tell y'all how you can enter for a chance to win a Florida Dream Home, a million dollars, a Chevy Silverado Trail Boss, V8 with a turbo or 3,000 other prizes. Now, what you can do is you can go down below and click on my link, home.amaze.com slash gingerbilly. Now, when you get there, you can donate $10, which will enter you for the chance to win all that cool stuff. Now, your donations go to help support the Arnold Palmer Hospital. The Arnold Palmer Hospital has been around for 30 years, helping families and treating kids. It's got some of the most highly advanced technology. It's got passionate doctors, passionate nurses. It's a great place. So your donation goes to help a great cause. And it gives you a chance to win all kinds of cool stuff. Can you imagine waking up in the morning and be like, hey baby, would you like to go to our Florida dream home? Or you could be like, hey baby, what you want to go spend that million dollars on today? 
You can get two side-by-sides, 14 dirt bikes, whatever you want. That's a million dollars. Or you can walk outside to your Chevy Silverado trail balls, get in there and go cruise around. Hey, you got a chance for 3,000 other prizes too. That is a pretty darn good deal. And the donation goes to support a really good cause. All right, now, back to our adventure. I saw something really cool and really spooky up there. We gonna go check it out. Y'all, I've been kind of scared out here in the bushes, to tell you the truth, since I've seen it. I keep hearing stuff walking around. I ain't playing. So let's go check it out. Y'all remember that spooky stuff I was talking about? This is it right here, okay? This is what freaked me out, all right? This is graves, y'all, above ground. Now, I love history. I'm a history buff. And this right here is just, this is so cool to me, okay? This gravestone here, this headstone, says uh, that this person passed away in 1831. They was born in 1740. 1740. November the 30th. All right, they got a birthday coming up. She was 91 year old when she died, if my math is correct. Yeah, my math's correct. 91. I mean, for that, for them times, that's crazy. And then this old fella here, this was her husband. And just, just listen to this here. This is really cool. James Gibbs, South Carolina Continental Line, Revolutionary War, y'all. Revolutionary War. 1794. This dude right here fought in the Revolutionary War. Like, I'm standing beside a freaking, a freaking soldier. Like it's just, that's just so, that is so cool to me, man. That's so cool to me. I can't read this in here. It's a baby. I'm guessing this is a little, or a child here. Because that's a small one right there. But I'm pretty sure it's a child. It says, uh, something Gibbs. Uh, I can't read that right there. H, uh, maybe a, H-I-R-A-M, maybe. Hiram, Hiram. But you can't really read any of this. Obviously, this is a child, though, because this one's very, this is a lot smaller uh, than that. And, and then there's a darn cow skull right here, which only adds to the freakiness. You know, but I just, oh, man, this is, this is, this is the kind of stuff I like, man. I nerd out stuff like this. You know, you, I'm riding out here at my buddy's 1,200 acres. He's got 1,200 acres, and this was granted to his family. This has been in his family for like 300 years. I think it was it was before the Revolutionary War uh, started, so he's had this in his family for that long. So this is just this whole place, you know, is it's got a historical vibe, uh, real cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that, man. You know, I rode by that earlier, and I looked at it, and then I was out in the bushes, you know, and I was just like, what is that? Why I keep hearing stuff, you know? Well, I just wanted to show y'all that, you know. Well, you probably you might not care, but I, I just think it's awesome. Oh boy. Well, y'all, I done rode till about dark. I hope y'all like my Yamaha. I hope you like my nightgown. And remember, if you'd like to enter for a chance to win a Florida Dream House, a million dollars, or several other prizes like that Chevy Silverado Trail Boss, just click on my link or copy and paste it. It's home.amaze.com slash gingerbelly. Love y'all. Have a good one.